Hi guys, welcome back to the Drive Life channel and today I'm going to be talking to you about how I saved huge amounts of money on this Volvo here. Um, so this is a 2009 Volvo S80 D5 and um, I bought it at auction, um, so I got it for a mad deal. Uh, these cars usually trade for between five and ten thousand um, pounds. I bought mine for fifteen hundred quid. It's got a few bits wrong with it, but um, there's a few things that have definitely worked in my favour to help me get this car cheap. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about that now um, and show you guys how you can do the same thing. So let's get straight into it. Okay, guys, just a little heads up. Um, this video isn't going to be very. Um, I should say it, um, visually entertaining. Uh, it's just going to be me talking. Uh, so if you uh, just want to set me down on the side so you can listen, um, feel free to do that. I won't be offended. But um, yeah, so basically, like I said, I bought this car at auction um, and I bought it for £1,500. Um, bearing in mind that the auction average on this car is between four and £5,000 as well, as not even including the um, resale value. So I got it for half the auction average. Um, and... I, I can only think uh, the way that this happened was because this car had no service history. Uh, so on the advert, this car stated that it had no service history whatsoever. Um, and I originally I was put off by this, um, but actually I put my sort of investigative skills to work. Um, and actually this gave me an upper hand. So essentially what happened was this car was stated with no service history. Um, and those of you who know cars know that you don't really want to buy a European car without any form of service history whatsoever. So um, I went and looked at the car. Um, I made a point of actually, rather than buying it sight unseen, I wanted to see if I can get any more information on this vehicle whatsoever. So I went to the auction house, I went to look at this car before the sale, um, and that's one of the most important steps to getting a car cheaper, or making sure that you're buying a good car from the auction, is to ensure that you do your homework first. So I went to see the car um, about a week before the sale, um, so that I could gather as much information as possible. I instantly did um, a registration check using vehicle smart and i actually paid for a premium um, vehicle check which gave me loads of information um, that i otherwise wouldn't have had um, then what i did is i had a closer look at the car um, i opened the bonnet and i noticed that the on the on the engine uh, sort of the just underneath the, the the bonnet essentially the bonnet shut line i think it is um i noticed that there was some writing on there that stated that the car had had its cam belt done at sixty nine thousand miles it also gave a date as well um what i couldn't find however was whether that has actually been done because the cam belt's fairly well hidden in these volvos so what i then decided to do as i looked to, oh, i stepped back from the car um and i noticed that it had a dealer sticker um from a used car dealer in the rear window now i've actually removed that from the car now um just because i don't like it but um i gave that dealership a ring and they were able to fill me in on what some of what had happened so essentially they had bought the car um three years ago and at that time it had seventy-two thousand miles on it if we just look now this car now has eighty-five thousand miles on it so I, and I bought it with eighty-three thousand. so it had only used done eight thousand miles since that time uh the car was had a complete service history and had just had the cam belt done and the figure that they stated matched the figure that was on the engine so i was fairly confident that it had been done and they had actually stated that they had done it themselves at the workshop of that dealership so that was a good bonus and um, that was something that worked for me um so i basically then asked them a few more questions they weren't allowed to give me anything else really um because of data protection but um they were allowed to provide me with the details um that i asked for i I then had a look at the registration plates and actually on the registration plates this car had the original dealership um registration plate so i was able to see what dealership this car was originally sold from um this then allowed me to get in contact with them um and that was when i found out that it was actually owned by a dealer principal this car so essentially the boss of the dealership this was his company car so that obviously, that obviously automatically told me that this car had been maintained um, by a volvo dealership um, and he was the first owner um, then i was the third owner so that means that there was only a slight gap in the service history for where obviously that, that final owner had bought it from the dealership that was in the sticker in the window. It's a long process, but essentially I've worked out that the 
fine loaner, only did 8,000 miles in it. Um, and so I personally felt that I was happy enough with the vehicle service history to put in a bid. Um, so what I did is I put in a bid at the auction um, and I got it um, for £1,500. So there is a big, big um, benefit of just doing your research, thinking about things that other people won't necessarily think about. Um, there's There's so many ways to gather information on cars nowadays that actually you could really really save yourself a lot of money just because it may not be obvious um so obviously the like i said the the main bit is to look for any sort of uh distinctive markings on the car um basically have a look at any sort of dealership branding on the car because dealerships love to brand their cars uh whether it's through window stickers um rear uh, on the number plates etc that's definitely something to look for also look in and around the engine bay quite a few manufacturers actually have the genuine manufacturer stickers explaining how what maintenance has been done uh, especially with the cam belts etc i know just from experience from work vehicles i've driven mitsubishi um l200 for example have a big sticker in the engine bay with it on so um yeah so those are the things that you need to look out for. These are the things that could definitely save you money in the long run. Um, also, what I would suggest doing to make sure you're not buying a car that's been crashed and repaired, write down the red, the, the vehicle identification number um, or the VIN um, and search that in Google. You'd be surprised the amount of stuff that you can find just from a vehicle's VIN number. Um, so have a look at that. And also just Google the registration um, and look beyond the obvious. So look beyond the first sort of five or six um clear results um, and find stuff more interesting so you can look at a lot of websites nowadays archive um, information so you may find information on your specific car that's 10 years old um, but nonetheless that information is better than none um, to put the cherry on top of the cake I actually found full service history in the package of this vehicle um, so that just topped it off for me but um, yeah thanks for watching guys it's just a few tips on how to save massive money on cars at auctions um, look beyond the obvious and the car will be good to you thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one cheers